Hello friend, I'm back with another uh, video uh, to teach you a new song and this time is O to Joy and then um, there going to be a few uh, new things on this song uh, that I want, I wish to teach you and hopefully it won't be too difficult for you to follow. Um, I'm doing my best here with one camera and um, I'm, I'm also a music teacher, so I don't want to waste too much time. I have to write music for my students as well as uh, teaching them, so I don't have enough time to uh, uh, do all the video, uh, video editing at the advanced level. Um, it's too complicated, and uh, you have to learn the software too. So if you guys have any other suggestion, uh, then let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to do the zoom in, zoom out a little bit. And if you need the sheets, uh, feel free, like I said in the other uh, previous videos, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I'm, for this video, I'm going to drop my email um, into the description area. And please feel free to contact me so. And um, so I can share this with you. And for those who are copyright police, uh, I don't sell any of this. Uh, the purpose of this is for educational purposes. So um, if any of my online students uh, need it, I'll, I'll share with them uh, if they cannot figure out how to do it for themselves. Um, okay, so let's zoom it in and let's start uh, because this this is a um, total of 16 measures here, so it, it can get uh, long very quickly, and I don't want to take too long to do this. All right, let's start with the first line right here. Okay, as you already know, um, the bottom line is for your left hand, the top line is for your right hand, and bottom line usually written in bass clef, and top line is in treble clef, okay? And you can see that there's 4-4, four, four, that's the time signature, okay? What it means is there's four, four quarter note in a measure. And a measure is from the beginning to the first bar line, and the bar line, that's each measure, okay? So this is each measure. And it say there's four quarter notes, and you see one, two, three, four. And the black note with the stem on it, that's called a quarter note. The value is just one count, and one or one beat. Uh, it's about a little less than a second, okay? And then, as you can see right here, you see there's three notes. Um, that stuck on top of each other. That means you have to play them together. And I put the finger here, finger five, finger three, and finger one. And the most bottom note is C3, and the middle note is E3, and the top note is G3. So it's perfectly in the position of C major, okay? So this song is written in the C major. All right, so that's first measure. Second measure, you're going to have one whole note, a whole note is a quarter of the value of four beats, four counts, so that's why you see it stand alone. So when you play this, you have to hold for the entire four beat. The same thing when you play this chord, this is a C major chord, you have to hold for the entire uh, four beats. And we see there's four quarter notes here, look like right hand will play continuously, meanwhile right le um, left hand will p uh, play every four, okay? All right, now, Go to the fourth uh, measure right here, and you see there's a note. There's a quarter note, look like a quarter note, but it have a, a stem, uh, I mean on the stem, it have a flag uh, attached to it. That's called a one-eight note. So this one is a one-eight note. So that means it's half of a beat. A quarter note is one count. So one-eight note is half of a quarter note, so that's half a beat. Now, like I said, each measure should have four beat. Okay, so let's count them. This half note alone is two beat, right? So that means we have two more beat. So this one is a dotted quarter note. So a dotted quarter note, a quarter note itself is one count. Dotted, the dot is half value of that, of the note. So if the um, quarter note is one beat, dotted half, so it means half. So together is one half. And this is so only half. So one half plus half is two, right? So two plus two is four, all right? 
All right, I think in this one you can see clearly uh, a little bit. So, all right, so let me play my um, my left hand here for you. You're going to hear like three sounds, right? So play all together. Two, three, four, and then left hand. This is finger one only. Two, three, four, and then do a chord again. Same. So that's why I don't write the note again. Two, three, four, and then... Two, three, four. Okay? All right. Now for your right hand, we go back here. Your your left hand is on C3. Finger five on C3 for left hand. Okay? Go back to your C major. Now your right hand is on C4. Your thumb have to be on C4. So that means your third finger, finger number three, is going to be on E4. Okay? So you just follow the finger. So you hear that? That's a little fast. Boom, boom. Okay? So let's try again. Okay, let me zoom out so you can see my hand. Okay, let me play left hand again. Gonna be like this. Okay? Now right hand. Two. Okay? Alright, let's put both hands together. Okay, one more time. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. <coughs> I'm going to zoom in now. Okay. All right, the same thing. Your left hand play the same thing as before, except for this last two right here. Um, it's a little bit different. Okay, this is two beat. So you're gonna play like this. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, two. Okay? And meanwhile, your right hand in the same position, playing. Okay, one more time. Okay, all right, let me zoom out and let you see the hand. And okay, so I'm going to point right here. Let's play both hands together from here to here, okay? Okay, both hands. Two, okay? Now, by the way, this song is written by Beethoven, okay? All right. Let's go to the second line. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, the second line. For those of you who get easy, please look away a little bit. Okay. For the second line, you see right here, you can play G only for four beat, and G again for another four beat, G again for two beat, and then G sharp. Hmm. 
So this is G right here, right? So G sharp is to the right of G because G sharp is a half step higher, right? So half step is to the right, okay, to the right. So you're gonna play this with finger two, cross over, and I'm gonna show you later. And then you play A3, finger one, and play A2 again on finger two instead of finger one over here. Two, okay? All right, now for your right hand, same position as you can see right here. Earlier, you saw this one eight note, right? When it's alone, that's how it's written. It have a little flag. But when they're written two note, two of the eight notes stand next to each other, they draw a line, okay? To make it simple, okay? And cleaner. All right, so I'm gonna play right here now. Okay? Okay, one more time. Okay? All right, let's zoom out so you can see my hand. All right. Left hand, play. Left hand, play G3. Finger one, your thumb. Two, three, four, again. Two, three, four, again. Two, 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 two. Okay? So let me explain this. So start right here. Two, now C sharp. You have to play this one because you have no other finger to play. Okay? So play two and then A3 right next to it. Right? G here. G sharp, G here, G sharp, and A3. Okay, two, and then two. Okay? All right, now, right hand. Okay, let me do it up here. Okay, now let both hands play together. Okay, one more time. Okay, all right. Let's go to the next one. The last four, and let me zoom in. All right, you're gonna learn a new uh, chord here, okay? All right, so this left hand is still the same, same, except for here. You learn a new one, this is still the same in here. This is just two beat, this is four beat, okay? Quarter, and uh, vi uh, whole note, half note. Okay, it's the same type of note, stack on top of each other, it's just half note. Now this one is B2, okay, and this is F3 and this G3. So you have to play finger 5 on B2, finger 2 on F3, finger 1 on G3. Okay, and gonna sound like this and then I'm gonna zoom it out. Two, three, four, two, three, four. All right, your, your right hand gonna be easy, it's the same as up here. Gonna be like this. Two, okay? All right, let me zoom out. Oops, sorry. All right, so this is how you play it. Now this one, B, B2 right here. So this, your hand, everything, every other finger remain the same. Okay, only pinky extend it over, and then you play this one. 
Okay. Okay, that's the chord. And then two. Okay, so go one more time. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, two. Okay? All right. Let's put both hands together. Okay? All right. Let me play the full song for you now. All right. Okay? Ready? So that's all to joy by Beethoven. So this is uh, the end of the video. Please feel free to uh, ask me any question in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond back. And if you need the copy of this, please shoot me an email and you need to go to the description of this email, uh, video and read the instruction. Okay, please follow the instruction. Please, otherwise there's so many junk mail and I look at the subject line, if I don't see that, I'm going to ignore it, okay? All right, hopefully I don't see a lot of scam, uh, scammer and, and bad people try to contact me uh, for the nonsense stuff. All right, anyway, good luck to you and wish you the best on this journey of learning the piano, okay? God bless. See you next on the next video. Bye-bye.